I haven't seen him. Jelly, have you seen Johnny? Uh, yeah, I saw him heading to the house a little bit ago. What's up? Somebody's got to go relieve Lem Cable over at the line shack. Come on, Murdoch, not tonight. When he came to work for us, I promised he could go home every night. Can one of the other hands do it? Scott, this is a big night for the hands. They don't get as many opportunities to enjoy themselves as we do. Noblesse oblige, huh? <laughs> Something like that. Just call it the penalties of being boss. Let's go. It'll never work. What? This new double action piece. Look at that. It's so hard to get the hammer back. It throws off your aim. Johnny, why haven't you been out there tonight having yourself a good time, huh? Well, I never did like my fun organized. Hey, look, I'm fine. Why don't you go on out to the dance and let me amuse myself? No, one of the three of us has to relieve Lem Cable out of the line shack. Hey, Murdoch, why didn't you say so? Well, Johnny, Johnny, wait, hold it now. Now, listen, we can decide this fair and square between the three of us. What's to decide, Murdoch? Uh, how are you going to go? You're throwing this Fandango? Scott, he's got all those pretty girls out there waiting to dance with him. So that leaves me, and I'm the only one who doesn't mind. I'll see you. He's pretty self-sufficient. Yeah, maybe too much. To I wonder why Lem is so concerned about getting back home every night anyway. You know what the ranch hands are saying, don't you? You mean all that nonsense about his sitting on a pile of gold? Come on, Scott. Gather around, fellas, and listen to my tale of all my troubles on the old Chisholm Trail. Come a tie, a yippee, yippee, yay, yippee, yay. Come a tie, a yippee, yippee, yay. Got a ten dollar horse and a forty dollar saddle, heading up the trail for to punch Texas cattle. Hey ho, Shack, I'm coming in. Lamb show light. Hey, Lamb. Anything to hide it ain't in here. Anybody check the well? Oh, come on, Slade. It ain't nothing. Now, look, well. Well, when I want something done, I tell you I want it done. I it got done right there. Now, pay attention to it. All right, I said, don't give me no left. I want the well. I'm telling you, Slate, there ain't nothing. Uh oh. Let's get out of here.
you, Clint? Yeah. You reckon you can drop one of them birds? Well, I reckon. Yeah, you're a country liar, too. Your slate couldn't fetch one of them. He's got a globe sight. Huh. Well, I killed a man once, better than half a mile. Faced it off. One thousand yards. Why don't we get up there and see if that company's still coming? Here, look at that. He's coming all right. We shouldn't have stopped. We've been on the run long enough to know. We've got to keep the horses fresh. Besides, you can't go as fast as that. you got to follow sign. I say we better split up. Well, I don't know. I've been studying. It seems to reason he wouldn't have showed up at that house if he hadn't found old man Cable. And he sure wouldn't have come up there. Old man Keeble hadn't told him we was there. What are we gonna do, Slee? I guess we're gonna have to kill Mr. Johnny Lancer just to kind of make sure. Let's find a good place to do it. Come on. You're fooling, Slate. That hits a good 800 yards. I told you, I killed once a thousand. be here. Slate drilled him dead center, didn't you, Slate? I didn't miss him. I had him dead in my sight. Here, get out of the way. Uh, and he's stuck over him too, Lee. Now let's spread out and see if we can stop him loose. Mr. 
shook loose somewhere. I've never seen a white mule before. Well, you're seeing one now. What are we going to do, Slate? Oh, well, we search on downstream a ways. If we don't find him, we can come back here. So why would anybody want to do a thing like that? Well, looks like somebody believed those stories that old Lem was sitting on a cache of gold. Where's that house of his, Jelly? Up in the hills above Hardluck Notch. Lived up there since Hardluck was mine camp. Maybe that's why somebody believed that he was sitting on something rich. You go back to Lancer and get a wagon, come out here and pick up Lem's body. Tell my father that I'm riding on to Lem's place. You can meet me there. You figure Johnny's in the jam? Maybe. like you've got troubles. You better come in here and let me take a look at you. You a doctor? Well, that's what they say around here. 
right, right over here. Yep. Right in this chair here, sir. That's it. Right in this chair. Get him up here. Yeah. Oh. Well, how did this happen? Oh, I got, I got bushwhacked. Did you see the fellows that did it? Maddie, you all right? Maddie, the one who brought me here? Yeah. Old Lem Cable's niece. They got a place about 10, 15 miles out of here. Lem's dead. M murdered. Same three men. Maddie, I. It looks like you had a pretty close call yourself. You got a furrow in your skull you could lay a finger in. Doc, I can't see. Yeah, that figures. One like that could damage the optic nerve. Maddie, go out in the kitchen and get me a kettle of hot water. How come she don't talk? She's a mute, born that way. She can hear all right, but there's something wrong with her talk box. I guess old Lem thought it was a judgment of heaven or something. There. I'll put a bandage over those eyes to keep the light out. Doc, Doc is this gonna be for good? Well, I don't know. You're a doctor, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a doctor. I patch folks up when they need patching, and I cure their belly aches. But this is beyond me. I can't talk with authority. There's a chance you'll get your eyes back. You don't think so, huh? Like I said, I don't know. Now, do me a favor, will you? Such as? Get out of here. Leave Maddie to me. Before she died, my wife took care of Maddie part-time. I know what's best for her. She's got enough troubles. She shouldn't be mixed up in whatever kind of a scrape you are in. <laughs> I thought you could help me. No, son. Those that are after you'll still be looking. This is one of the places they'll look. I'm no hero. I'm just a tired old cowtown sawbones. <laughs> Take it easy, girl. Take it easy. Well, looks like you've made up your mind to go with him. Well, in that case, I better get started. Coming, Harris. Hey, don't that jug head look familiar? Yeah. Take a look. Maddie. Those are the ones. Better get you out of here the back way. What is it? Your friends are outside. Oh. Here, Maddie. When you get to the livery stable, give this to Harry Smart. This one. Here, take this. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, what's, what's, what's the idea? What? You got no call to come busting into a man's house this way. <laughs> That's just what I tell him. I say, don't be so rough with folk. Now, you got a question you won't answer? You ask them real nice, and they'll help you. It's like, uh, who belongs that white mule tied out front? Come on, now. <laughs> I ask you a question. This is your last chance. Now, are you gonna do it the easy way? Or am I gonna have to stomp it out of you? <laughs>
Johnny's. Rifle and everything's here. Well, we can't do much around here. Let's ride into hard luck. Maybe we can get a posse to scour the territory. What do you think we'll find? Johnny alive. We're lucky. simple things mean like you never think about like I'll see you to the door I'll see if I can do it for you we'll just plain talk about it I can't see and you can't talk but there ought to be some way to put it together Oh, shucks, I can't even see you make signs. I guess you do make signs, don't you? Oh, is that supposed to mean something? <laughs> is that, if that means you have to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> what about no? Oh. Oh. Two taps, yes, and one tap, no. <laughs> we still in town? We're in a bed. The proper bed. Guess we're in a house. Whose house? Whose house? Where are you going? It's a doll. Your doll? Your room? Lem's house. I'm sorry. Maddie, listen to me. You stick around here and you're gonna be in trouble. I want you to get out of here. Listen to me. Please, there's nothing more you can do for me now, and I want you to leave me. Will you do that? Oh, Maddie. What are you sore about? You know I'm right. What are you saying? I'm a darn fool. <laughs> oh, I wish I could get a look at you. I bet you're pretty. I bet you're prettier when you're mad, too, huh? Where the doc talked, I bet you're not more than 20. Pretty age. Maddie? I know you're there. Come here. Come here. Will you hide the wagon and take the horse and get out of here?
Smart's a tough old coo, didn't he? Slave is soft. All right, let's go. We got to take another look at old Cable's place. you come back. What's that? You felt sorry for me? Maddie, I don't want you feeling sorry for me. I want you to get out of here. Listen to me. I haven't lived a long life, Maddie, but it's been a good one. Now, I want you to go. Will you listen to me? Now, you haven't had any yet. Now, I want you to get out of here. Don't tell me nobody ever kissed on your lips. Maybe I shouldn't do it. Yeah, I'd say about 15 minutes down, I heard full daylight. We ought to be there by then. You'll be just about right. I mean, him being blind and all. I mean, us in the daylight and him in the dark. It's <laughs> not bad odds. Is it daylight? I never knew a man could find so much in the night. <laughs> oh, I never knew life could be so sweet. <sighs> Sweeter it is, though, the more scared I get. <sighs> well, I've been scared before. <sighs> I 
feel like an animal waiting to be slaughtered or something. Well, now, what good's this gonna do? <laughs> All right, I know what you're trying to say, but you told me you got no shells. Take the butter out. Find me something that'll scatter. Give me all you can find. Like nobody's home. Well, we'll just have a look anyway. Oh, where do you see it, Maddie? Thousands of acres, rolling green hill. Yeah. Yeah. Get this gun here at the door. Get behind me when they come in. I want you to stop me. Maddie, you hear me? Maddie, what are you doing? Maddie, I want you. Maddie, no. No way. Maddie. I don't want you up there alone. Come with me. Maddie, you hear me? Johnny Lansing. She's a dummy. Think Johnny got this far? Well, it won't hurt to find out. Red sign the one heading out toward the hill. She must have got somebody to take him. Why don't you ask her? Why don't you shut up? I bet we could open her up. Right now, we're going after that wagon. Couldn't have gotten too far. Not you. You stay here with the little lady. We might need her later on. Like uh, you and me gonna be alone here for a little while. Might as well uh, get acquainted, huh? We think we'll huh? get a little friendly. Huh? Oh, come in, just relax. Oh, we... Hey, take it easy, all right? That's right. Take a good look. Doc said you were blind. Take your chances.
All right. Let's get some answers from that girl. If we get one of them, it'll cut down the odds. Not much, but the two of us will have a better chance against just one. Cut that out, will you? Get that fellow's gun. Now, what do you suppose that fool Harrison's up to, huh? <laughs> What do you think? Harrison! Come out here and bring that girl with you. Treatment doesn't work. Johnny will be blind for good. He knows that. Boy, I gotta hand it to him. I've never known him to be this patient. He's got Maddie on his side. That's one thing in his favor. How do you feel about that? Now she says she loves him. It's good enough for me. 
Mr. Lancer. Sam, glad you came. I'll be taking the bandages off any moment now. Well, I hope everything turns out all right. But, uh, well, that's not exactly the reason I'm here. I, uh, I came to get Matty. Came to get Matty, but you... I talked to her yesterday. Told her that seeing as how there's nothing left here for her, well, the same for me since Sarah died, maybe she'd like to come back east with me. They tell me there's a school back there that helps people in her condition. Well, is she going? I don't know. I hope she will. There's just no chance that she'll ever talk. I thought I'd better be here just in case. A Murdoch? He's taking off the bandages now. You ready, Johnny? Matty, you stick close to me, honey. I'm scared again. Yeah, Doc, let her go. Matty. Matty! I told you not to go. Don't leave me. Go on, Doc. Let her buck. days before normal sight is completely restored. After that, complete rest. Open your eyes, Johnny. Johnny. I can see you, Doc. <laughs> Betty. Where's Betty? She's gone, Johnny. Gone? Where? Johnny, no! Scott, let him go. Let him go. But he can't see completely. He could only hurt himself more. 